Hey there guys, welcome back. So we're getting back to some more PS1 haunted games. Last time I played Org County and Insomnio, which were both very weird games. But now we're gonna check out Dread Delusion. In the Clockwork God's Realm, where state-approved magic is regulated by machines, a dark corruption is taking a hold is taking hold. A small-scale open-world RPG. Okay. Again, we're not getting too much horror out of these games, like... Insomnio was definitely the scariest one. Oh, this is... Okay, I changed my mind. A settings menu? I can't handle this. We actually have save slots. Okay. In a demo? Maybe they just, like, couldn't get it cut out. Story. Well, that's definitely what this is. You stand before an avatar of the Clockwork God. It makes abysmal sounds as it connects to the network of machines and magic spread throughout the city. You shift uneasily while you wait. You have no idea why you're here. Being called before an avatar in person is rarely a good thing. The mechanical anatomy shudders and grinds for some time, sputtering oil and steam. It abruptly stops. Just as you wonder if it's broken, a feather stylus pops up, pops out and writes in large angular letters, You are subject number CXLII. Uh, what is that? I'm, I don't know my Roman numerals, especially as high as CXL. According to Roman numerals, Roman numerals, CXLII equals 142. Okay, so I am number 142. I guess I'll confirm that. Your data requires amending. Uh, state your vocation. You clear your throat. Petty enforcer, you root out corrupted citizens in the city. Often by force requires physical brawn. Scribe, you have a lit uh, literacy permit. I do not. I can't even say that word. To fabricate realm-wide propaganda requires mental wit. I have neither of these. Physical brawn. You explain how you patrol the streets each day, scouring information, banging on doors, and rooting up those tainted with corruption. Not an easy job. Nobody wants to give up their loved ones, not when they know that the Divine Order will do to them. You have done terrible things to keep the sacred city safe. The machine writes, data amended. You have gained delusion of might. So this is like a character builder, it looks like. Yeah, like a warrior over there. You have been selected for the sacramental duty. Your heart lurches as you read the quickly drying ink. You do not know what the sacramental duty is, only that those who are chosen never return. The sacramental duty as follows. You find the source of the realm's pestilence, which purifies the soul and makes rotten the harvest, and to forever bring an end to this corruption. Failure will result in death by incarceration. Chances of success are calculating none. May the blessing of the clockwork god be with you. Please take, please exit via the portal. Well, at least I got a mite too leaving this conversation. Okay. Let's go. Alright. Welcome to hell. My name is Hades. Mate, how may I assist you today? Oh, are you Hades? Hi, Hades. How you doing, girl? I didn't know Hades was a girl. What do we have here? Another outcast from the city of sh and steel, no doubt. Lady, I try to keep my videos PG-13. Come on. Tell me, has your god cast you away to die? Yes. As you recognize the absurdity of that damned place. Since your people came and built that abomination, this land has been slowly rotting. So I'll be keeping an eye on you, outcast. Okay. Bye, blue lady. Goodbye, female Hades. I love you. That's a weird looking moon. I like how things just here just kind of float. Like, the people float. The towers float. Or is this, is this where it lives? Okay. Oh, we got some music now. That's new. And it stopped. Oh, another floaty floaty person. Is that, is that the same girl? Hey there, Hades. The town of Hollow. My people were never allowed past its walls. We natives have been here since the world forging, but even as we starved, this town keep us out. 
And in the end, when its people writhed in strange agonies, they locked it up and discarded the key in that tower up there. A bouquet? It's, it's like a door, though. Can't you just, like, climb over the wall, break down the door? I mean, you can float. Maybe you can just hover over it? Okay, bye, lady. Oh, we got another elevator. Hi, elevator. Are you going to take me to another talking machine? Uh, there are machines here. I don't know if they talk. Oh, that looks like the same skull. Saving and disabled in this demo. Okay, so that, that's just the save. Oh, this is just the giant save room. Okay, there's a quarantine key. Well, I got the key pretty quick. We've been locked out for eternity with no way to escape. Hey, I found the key. You are illiterate. Requires mind to read. The tower has sustained significant damage. Would you like to evaluate uh, uh, automatic repairs? Yes. Upgrades are disabled in the demo. Please have a nice day. Okay, then. That's fine. That's okay. I didn't want to play the actual game anyways. Actually, this game's kind of awesome. This demo is actually looking pretty neat. Alright, so let's go over here to the castle and go fight Bowser real quick. Oh, Naka Naka! This lock could be broken. Well, I don't have any swords or anything. So I'm guessing the key that we got was for the door up there. Oh! Even their ships float. Couldn't that ship get past the door? Hey lady, I just saved your people. I had to walk like... I don't know, a few yards? Yeah, I just freed all of your people. You suck, Hades. Alright, looks like we're in the slums now, and there's a nice little church here in the slums. Home spell returns you to the... Returns the caster to hollow, but at the cost of an affliction. Um, okay. Subject number CXLII. Your presence here was predicted. Do you seek help with the sacramental duty? Yes. Leave this town. Seek the cipher scribe in his tower past the river. He will direct you further. You're not very helpful, are you, buddy? I guess we're just gonna... Oh, okay. Here's another thing. Hey, I got a coin. Look at me go. All right, let's go up the staircase. I, I wanna... I wanna find new things. That requires a key. Of course it does. We're just gonna jump. Hey, no fall damage. This game is perfect. Oh, hi, buddy. Are you a nice guy? Okay, well, I can't talk to him, but he doesn't seem to care about me, so... He's pretty chill, I guess. Oh, okay, well... A fancy-looking key, which might open an apartment nearby. Well, I might know what apartment that is. Unless it's this apartment, do I have to go up this staircase? Is this the case of stairs that I require? What do you have at the top? Nope, okay. Well, that one requires a different key, apparently. I like to keep my keys behind the trash can like a normal person. I don't know about you guys. Um, that isn't the right place. Where was the... Was it back here? Well, we did find stairs. Let's go up, 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 up. Hey, I did it. What do you got for me? One coin. Potion of health. Restores health, but not afflictions. Set as the selected item with alt, then press R to use. I'm illiterate. Man, maybe I shouldn't have chosen to be a, a, a dumb dude with, with big old muscles. That does not look like a comfortable bed to me. But I guess when you're dead, you're not too worried about the comforts of life. Alright, well we got the potion. I don't know if that was like a required thing to move on. Did we need the potion? What's down here? Alright, well... Music changed again. We're on a nice open land. More skeleton boys, but again, I don't think they're threatening at all. They're just kind of you know, doing their own thing. 
Hey buddy, what's it like being dead? Do you enjoy it? Okay. I mean, at least he gets to float. Even if I had to go to hell when I died, like, at least I can float. I don't have much to complain about. I mean, eternal hellfire, ability to float. Oh no, I'm out of stamina. Game, don't do this to me. I just want to run. Alright, we got a house up here. It's looking kind of like something out of oblivion. Let's go see what they got going on. You guys got anything I can steal? Oh, not even a locked door. Yeah, I'll take your money. What else you got? Come on, give me the jewels. You guys can't keep me out forever. A coin. Are you dead? Oh, hi, buddy. A friendly face. Thank the clockwork god. He's a human. I was thrown from my airship. One of those things got on board. I was ordered by its grace, no less, to clear out the brigands and thieves currently squatting in the hollow town tavern. Pass phrase to the tavern. Apparently brigands and thieves have taken control of the tavern in hollow. They're selling an array of spoils looted from the chaos. Here, our spy found a way in. Kill, kill them and make merry with them. I don't care anymore. I failed. My data will be erased from the esteemed archives. In the end, it will be as just as its grace predicted. Yeah, you enjoy death, buddy. You'll get a float. I'm kind of jealous now. I want a float. Ooh, what is this? Is this our beautiful entrance? Ah, story! You clasp the door handle, and your head throbs. Your vision blurs, and the bitter taste rises in the back of your throat, telltale signs of an illusion taking hold. You're still atop a hill with the sacred city in the distance, but now the neuron star burns golden in the sky in, in the in a blue sky, above a glittering multitude of machine towers. Sky ships fairy grain and goods overhead, propelled by faultless cipher magic. You recognize this as a realm commissioned um, propaganda. A utopic vision to draw colonists here from the old kingdoms. A machine knight towers over you. The voice emanating from its sealed helmet is shrouded in static. State your business. I want to give it like a kind of like sarcastic but still kind of, you know, aggressive voice. It leans closer. You're not from the Divine Order, are you? I'm not good at doing voices. I should not be a voice actor. Uh, lie. Claim that you are, in fact, from the Divine Order. Say you were tasked with sacramental duty. I am from the Divine Order. You straighten your back, fix a purposeful uh, glare, and assert that you are, in fact, from the Divine Order. The Machine Knight almost seems to flinch. You don't have any of the proper insignias it ponders, but, uh, but you could always be an Order spy. There is no way to tell either way, the Machine Knight concludes. You better come up and speak in person. I succeeded a challenge of might. All right. The illusion vanishes with a shiver, leaving a crimson sky. You pass into the tower and up its dark stairway. Entering the top chamber is like stepping onto a turbulent ship. The whole room full of strange apparatus periodically turns on a spigot. On a spot. Why did I say spigot? They scrub a sunset over an array of ink bottles, which spill their glowing liquid wherever the room lurches. The figure turns to face you, weary eyes buried in a gaunt face. Don't touch anything, he mutters. It's the voice of the machine knight. So feel so much feebler now. Ask for help with the sacramental duty. Inquire about the corruption. Uh, sacramental duty. As you explain your task, the scribe gazes away, seemingly lost in thought. According to the clockwork god, he, fi um, he says finally, the corruption has a single source located past the great gate. But the gate is tainted. It no longer answers to the living. Only the corrupted souls that wander here. If you kill enough of those strange ghosts and collect their protoplasm, it might open for you. You'll find a sword in the courtyard. Use it to destroy the quarantine doors and explore the rest of the realm. The scribe turns back to his desk with a sigh. May okay, yeah, cool. Just give me the sword. Um uh, I have what I need. I don't need to be here no longer. But, uh, neat. Executioner's sword. That is exactly what that is. I am actually happy that they got that correct. Um, 
as ridiculous as it sounds that real life we would have a thing called an executioner's sword. Oh, that was it. Oh. Anyways, they were invented after the medieval ages, and unlike a regular sword, they didn't have a pointy bit. It was usually flat, and it was just heavy and sharp, so they could kill somebody while they're standing on their knees and chop off their head. As opposed to using an axe where they have to, like, look down. That was actually pretty well done. Um, I think that is one game, out of any of the ones I've played so far, that's the one that I would most likely go and pick up and actually play through. But, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and a sub down below. I'm going to be exploring some more of these games. And hopefully I'll see y'all next time. Bye.